Let's talk about one more thing that I think is really kind of important to really getting an understanding of what Adobe Photoshop is and, and how it works. And that's color depth or bit depth. Most images shot with a camera will come in at either 8 or 16 bit color. Now this image, you see this number right here, it says 8. This image is an 8 bit image. What does that mean exactly? 8-bit images in RGB, if we go to channels, there are three channels for color. Each one of those channels is 8 bits. Now, 8 times 3 is 24. You may have even heard of 24-bit color. But an 8-bit channel is like a bunch of switches that can produce 256 maximum variations. So if you take and multiply 256 times 256 times 256, you basically get 16,777,215 colors. So a normal 8-bit RGB image, is what we work with quite a bit, can produce that many colors. Now we can, if you go up here to the word image and mode, we can change that to a 16-bit or a 32-bit channel. Now if we do that, understand we're increasing the number of colors. If we change this image to 16-bit, we have the ability of generating literally trillions of colors. And of course, you saw the one for 32-bit, which takes us off the chart. 32-bit images are used for HDR, high definition and resolution images that we use with photography. The difference, though, is the ability to choose a lot of colors to work, especially when you're manipulating images in color correction. I like to do most of my color correction in a higher bit mode because it gives me more latitude as I'm working. But remember, this is a program that not only has a resolution, but it has a maximum number of colors, and those maximum number of colors are actually literally defined by the bit depth, 8, 16, or actually even 32. On to the next.